All right, so now we're going to talk about another conic section called the ellipse. So here's the definition for an ellipse. An ellipse is the set of all points in a plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points is a constant number. And so each of these fixed points are called a focus, and uh, the plural would be foci of the ellipse. So we're going to talk about um, ellipses that are horizontal and ellipses that are vertical. All right, so the first thing we want to, we want to make note of, of ellipses, we're going to have a center. Right, and this both these cases here, the center is the origin. It will not always be the origin. All right, so each ellipse has a major axis and a minor axis. The major axis is the one that's the longer one. So for the left one here, the horizontal um, ellipse, this line, this is called the major. This is called the major axis from negative a zero to a zero. It's called the major axis, while the uh, minor axis is from zero b and zero negative b this little spot right here. Whereas the vertical ellipses, the major axis, well, it's vertical, right? It goes from 0, negative a to 0, a. Right inside here is the major axis. And then here, between negative b, 0, and b, comma, 0, that's called the minor axis. So the major axis is the longer axis. The minor axis is the smaller axis. All right? a, 0, and negative a, 0, so v these are called vertices the vertices of your um, ellipse. It's this one over here. All right? Same with this situation. That one's called a vertice, vertex, and this one's called a vertex. All right? So the vertices lie on the major axis, as well as this C0 and negative C0, these, are these red ones that I have here, those are the foci. Right? The foci also lie on the major axis. Right, so make note, major axis is the longer axis, and the vertices and the foci lie on the major axis. The, the idea for this definition here is if you take a point on your graph, right, then the distance from that point to this red focus, red focus and to this other red focus, these two distances that I'm doing right here, if you add those two distances up, you get a number. right? And that number is always the same, no matter which point you take on your on your ellipse. If you take this point over here and go right this distance plus this distance, you get the same number as we did just a second ago. It's always a constant number, no matter where you take it. This this point here, this distance plus this distance, is the same value. Right? That's all this definition is talking about. Because these are distances, this distance plus this distance is equal to some constant term, we could go through and derive all of this fairly straightforward with just like the distance formula and a little bit of algebra. I'm not going to do that here just because of time, uh, but I'm sure it's in your textbook or, or whatnot that you can hunt down. But when you do that, here's the, here are the equations we get. We get x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. That's for horizontal major axis. Right, vertical major axis it looks just a little differently, but really they're, they're going to be the same. I don't want you to think that we've got two separate uh, equations here, two separate forms to think about. And we'll get to that in just a second. All right, so make note that for for both of these situations that I the way that I have it written, a is bigger than b. Right, so a squared is bigger than b squared. So what that means is that the bigger number here is underneath your x squared term. Right where the smaller number is underneath your y squared term. When that happens, then you have a horizontal major axis. But when your bigger number is under your y squared term, and your smaller number is under your x squared term, then you have a um, vertical major axis. Follow me? All right, we'll, we'll see some more of that with some examples. I think it makes it easier to see there. All right, so C. All right, the way to find C, and again, we're not going to derive it, but Make a little note, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. But I want, to, I want everybody to be careful. Generally speaking, we're just going to say the bigger number, meaning either a squared or b squared, the bigger number minus the smaller number. Because right? we want c squared to be a positive number. So just make sure you subtract the bigger one minus the smaller one. All right? And again, we'll see some examples of that in just a second. All right, so that's, that's when the center is at the, the origin. So to generalize all this up, we have the standard form for the ellipse. Right, so you have x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. All right, so then the center would be hk, just like it was for the circle. Um, and then make note, c squared is again a squared minus b squared, but <coughs> a squared is not necessarily always going to be under the x. Right, So make note, it's the bigger number. c squared is equal to the bigger number minus the smaller number. Right, If you have a vertical major axis, 
a vertical major axis. That means the larger number is underneath your y squared, right? This being the y squared. So if you have a vertical major axis, then the foci would be h comma k plus or minus whatever the c value is. Does that make sense? Yeah, you'd have your ellipse, and you would know the center. And so then to get to this point right here, and to get to this point right here, the foci, you're adding to the y values, y value of your center, right? Whatever that c distance is. And that's how you get the coordinates for the foci. If you have a horizontal major axis, then the foci are h plus or minus c comma k. And that's because now you're going right and left, right? So here's the center, so you're going to this spot, and you're going to this spot. So to get to the foci, you're adding to the x part of the center, and you're subtracting to the x part of the center. All right, so that's the, the idea for the standard form of an ellipse. Um, so uh, let's, uh, let's check out the next video for, um, for a few examples. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.